Welcome back to Unbox Analysis. My name is Gary. Today, we are here to talk about the Holy Stone HS720G. I am not a huge drone person. I have had a DJI Phantom 3 and a plethora of small toy ones for the kids over the years, and I've really wanted to get into a 4K drone. Um, I did a lot of research, so I reached out to Holy Stone. Uh, they were nice enough to send me this over to review and share with the audience. I will say this thing is awesome. Uh, I've flown this many times. I have taken it to parks, over rivers, and I am not a professional drone flyer by any means. And this thing was easy, simple, intuitive, and it just worked right from the start. So let's dive into the unboxing, and then we'll talk about some footage I got on the way. First off, thing to notice, it comes with a super nice case. It almost feels like Alcantara. It's got a real soft feel to it, but yet it feels strong, like it's gonna protect the drone. All right, got a little bit of packaging here, a couple of joystick covers, we'll get those out of the way. Right here, starts out, you already have some instructions. This is going to give you all of the controls on your controller. This also has a QR code, which takes you to where you download the Ophelia Fly app. We'll get into that here in just a little bit. And yeah, overall, super easy to fly. It's my favorite part because I'm not a great drone pilot. If you gave me one of those expensive drones right away, I would need replacement parts. All right, so right here, got the box. Inside the box is box things. Right here, you got the battery. It is just under 3000 milliamp hours. Holy Stone boasts a 26 minute flight time. Now I will say, I'm pretty sure when that ended up my recording time, I actually flew this a little over 29 minutes while recording most of the time. Um, that was a low wind day. But so that just means that they're not, they're not boasting their numbers. Like a 26 flight time is a realistic expectation for this drone. All right, battery pack, charges by USB Type-C, no weird oddball charger to go with. Power button right here on the side. Also inside the box, you got some little cushions to make sure the battery doesn't get all mashed up and shipping. Okay, in this first bag here, you have four full replacement blade setups, which is pretty nice, and a little bag of extra screws. Super nice. I will say, I did a durability test on this drone. It wasn't on purpose, and it passed. Um, actually, I'll show you that now. Okay, next bag, we have a USB Type-C charging cable, no brick, and then a Phillips head screwdriver for repairs, maintenance, or blade replacement. From what I understand, replacing most of the things in this drone is pretty simple. Now, if you gotta get a little further into it, like you break a leg, you do have to take apart a little bit more, but there are ways to get the parts, so that's good to know. All right, over in this pack here, we have a hefty instruction and owner's manual. Nice to have. Recently, I went over a laptop. It was a $600 laptop, and the entire pamphlet for the whole thing was about that big. So, nice to see a good owner's manual. Also have a little battery caution inside, and then just a little keep things dry pack. Okay, we'll jump into the controller next. Controller feels solid. You got your two antennas. They fold out opposite directions. Then, you have your phone mount. Now, I daily an S22 Ultra. It is currently what is recording up here. And with my case on, it was a tight fit here. Took the case off, absolutely no problems. And the S22 Ultra is a pretty big phone. So you open that up, click it into the lock position, slide it out, phone in, good to go. It also has these little guys at the bottom. Super, super nice for holding. It actually makes the grip way more comfortable. I actually thought they were antennas at first, but I'm pretty sure they're just hand grips. Next, this does run off of AAA battery or AA batteries. Not my favorite thing in the world, but it actually was super useful. So I was down at the park getting ready to do some filming, testing, if you will, and my batteries were dead. I put in batteries from something else I had, they were dead. Luckily, I could just run to a store. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of double and AAA batteries, but it came in handy, so it works. Okay, set this off to the side. Next up, we have the unit. All right, so first off, it has instructions right here on the side on your fold out. So you start with one and then two. Then you do bottom one first, three and four. These lock into position very nicely. 
And once you set the drone down, it sits very flat. Right up here in the front, you have instructions on how to remove the camera cover, the camera cover. So push in, lift, and then it clips on out. Now inside of here, you have a Sony 12 megapixel uh, sensor. And this is your 4K sensor on the gimbal. You can see it's got a lot of free rotation here. And I will say, this sucker works really good. All right, so that is the total unboxing. Now let's talk about the actual flights here. So here, I was flying it through the park, checking things out, and a guy came up on an electric bike. I would love to review this bike, by the way. So if anybody has a contact with the company Suron, send them my way. But anyways, as you can see, flying along here nice and smooth. Keep in mind, I am not the best drone pilot. Absolutely not. But overall, the footage was amazing. It was smooth, it was clear. My turns are not the best, but that's on me, not the camera. So keep in mind, every time I stop the camera, all right, every time I stop the drone while it's flying full speed, first off, it's flying like this, and then it has to go like this to stop. So you got kind of a forward incline, then reverse to stop. And that whole time, the camera angle stays perfectly stable. You don't see this in the camera. That's probably a normal thing for good cameras, but this right now is on sale for $2.99 on Amazon. This is an entry level 4K drone. Like for the price, this blows my mind. I think I paid $5.99 for my DJI Phantom 3 a few years back. Camera quality was average. The drone was massive. It was bulky. Flight time was about 20 to 22 minutes. And again, the camera quality wasn't great. This is just really showing how far drones have come. All right, now real quick, let's take a second to talk about this video's other sponsor, Vessi. So overall with Vessi shoes, they're known for quality and comfort and being 100% waterproof. So every version of Vessi shoes they sent over, the entire body goes up to the top. These are the boots. These can sit a little bit taller than the shoes, um, but whether you're hiking, walking through a trail, on your average everyday move, they're great shoes. They're comfortable. They're flexible. The material itself is very high quality and comfortable. And seriously, they're just, they just look great. Now, I would say my only real issue with the Vessi shoes overall, they did send them to me, but they told me, be as honest as you can. I will say they run a little warmer than I'm used to. I tend to run pretty warm in the summer. I was super impressed with these shoes. We took them out when we were testing the drone footage flying through. It was easy to walk in parts of the river without having to worry about my feet getting wet. The ones that we've had a chance to check out are the Everyday Move, the Everyday Classic, and the Stormburst. Now my favorite overall is probably the Stormburst comfort-wise. When you put these things on, it feels like you're wearing a sock. It's form-fitting and it just feels like everything's secured in place. It's nice, it looks great. Now I did go with the lighter color variants because I really wanted to show off the different color schemes. But overall, I think my favorite color scheme they have is going to be the black, as you can see here in the Everyday Classic. The outer sides seem to be pretty stain resistant too. Uh, I wore these ones here for about a day. Not a ton, but I wore them for a day just to give them a really good feel and try. And overall, once again, I'm impressed by the quality. Vessi makes some really high-end shoes here at a very affordable price. You know, you wear shoes every day. I'm always on the move, uh, <laughs> especially when I'm making drone footage, walking through rivers, hiking down hills to get to the river, stuff like that. So if you want a pair to go shoot your drone footage or just to go to work every day and not worry about wet feet and walking comfort, check the link down below. Drone. <laughs> I'm super impressed. Now, I don't have a lot to go off of. Like I said, I've only flown cheap drones, my DJI Phantom 3, which is pretty dated at this point. So this is kind of my first entry into the newer budget 4K drone section. But I was really impressed by the camera quality. The flight was super easy. I haven't flown a drone in two or three years and I, I took to it right away. Um, oh, let's talk about that durability test. So <laughs> here, with my awesome depth perception, I was flying and I went to do a full speed rotation. The tree was closer than I thought. But good news, I hit that tree going full speed. I broke nothing. Um, it scuffed up the blades with some dirt and that is it. So it was only one durability test, but I'm gonna say passed, 10 for 10. A couple more really cool things about this drone in particular, it has a follow mode. Basically the way it works is it follows the signal from your phone and it will track you. 
If you set the height right and get the camera angle right, which it does have a tilting camera, it looks great, it follows great. I tried running, I tried walking, it just worked. It does not have the option to click to follow. I'm pretty sure it just has to follow the actual signal on the phone, but that's a pretty cool feature to have. And uh, I look forward to testing that in the future when we do some more, more Jeep part upgrades and I actually go out into the trails with the cameras, the drone and everything just to give kind of a cool full around show of everything we've picked up so far. This has a five gigahertz wireless signal. Works great. I had zero connection issues. I ran it all the way up to hundred meters. This also has a tap to fly function where you can click a couple different point of view spots and it kind of fiddles through, works nice and smooth, flies itself a lot better than I do. This is a highly recommend for me, given I don't have a ton of other experience with the other cheaper ones, I probably will purchase a few more in the future to test them out. If you'd like to see that, comment down below, let me know. Couple quick announcements though. This is currently on sale on Amazon for $2.99. Links are down below. Those are our affiliate links. And also, there is one week left on my tablet giveaway, the Blackview Tab 12 Pro. That is a really, really nice mid-range tablet. Super nice, and I'm giving it away for free. I'm gonna put the link to that video right here and down below. Go check it out. One more week left on the giveaway, free to enter. All you gotta do is comment. Why, well, watch the video. There's instructions at the end. You gotta comment a special thing. Gotta make sure you're watching the whole video. On that note, thank you everybody for stopping in. I really appreciate all of my viewers and subscribers. The growth is amazing and seriously, it's been a really good time. So if you like this video, if you wanna see more about it, tell me about it. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I wanna review things that you wanna see. I wanna keep checking out all these fun tech things together. And until next time, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.